What do you think of when you hear the words mental illness? Do you think of a person, or do you think of Harley Quinn and the Joker? Well, a person just like you and I could have a mental illness. ADHD, for example, is a disorder with a neurobiological basis of which could have potentially serious consequences. Sounds pretty serious, right? But then again, how many of us know somebody with ADHD? Because I know in my life it is a relatively common thing to experience, especially at school. So how come this is so commonly manageable? Well, we have Dorothy Dix to thank for being the pioneer that made it all happen. Dorothy Dix took a stand against cruelty in mental institutions during the 19th century. The stand was dire because the mentally ill were being abused. The process involved the Massachusetts State Legislature, awareness, and public cooperation, and the outcome resulted in the psychological advancements of which we utilize today. The movement was urgently necessary because the mentally ill were treated as lost causes, abused, and without the movement, today would be entirely different for the psychological realm. Back in the 19th century, the mentally ill were thought to have been cursed, and society believed that they would be too if they were associated. So the mentally ill were locked away in insane asylums. The conditions within these facilities were very similar to concentration camps during World War II. As you can see here, there's not much of a difference between concentration camps of World War II and the conditions within mental institutions during the early 19th century. Much like the imprisoned victims of Hitler, these patients have been locked away and dehumanized. Commonly found examples will be patients beaten by their staff, forced into labor, or locked away with incredibly unsanitary conditions, such as being chained to the wall in the dark, standing in their own feces. Dorothy Dix arose awareness and perspective, which started the long improvement process for treatment and acceptance, which is dire for today's technological and stressful ways of life. So how did a woman in the early 19th century manage to make such a massive impact? Well, the process was long and lengthy and is still being maintained today, but Dorothy was the one who took the initial stand. Her life consisted of suspected depression within herself and her mother, which is why today we conclude she had such compassion for the mentally ill. She was teaching Sunday school for female prison convicts when she discovered the conditions of the insane and the life imposed upon them. She made a case to which she brought to the Massachusetts State Legislature and was presented by a male representative. She also spread awareness throughout America and Europe to help her raise awareness, and she also opened facilities throughout those regions. She opened the doors to psychology, science, acceptance, and where we find ourselves today. So what's the point? If it happened so long ago, then why am I here talking to you about it today? Well, the end result was attention to the matter, which then created a start to getting where we are today. As time advanced, people picked up upon her words and started acting for themselves. Treatments are now available for many disorders of which we had originally deemed untreatable and acceptance has opened its arms for all. Awareness has been risen and times have changed. Common mental illnesses found today, such as depression, anxiety, and ADHD, are treatable, often curable, and are presented regularly in humanity. 43 million, nearly 20% of our population, experience mental illness and will be deemed untreatable. Dorothy's awareness got us to where we find ourselves today. In the end, Dorothy Dix had a substantial movement that impacted our world today greatly. She sparked the public, she spread awareness, opened facilities, and earned public cooperation. She stood against all odds, against society and its beliefs, to speak upon of which she truly believed in. She went to the Massachusetts State Legislature and she informed society of the facts that were dire as advancing as humans and as a nation, and I quote. I come to present the strong claims of suffering humanity. I come to place before the legislature in Massachusetts the conditions of the miserable, the desolate, the outcast. I come as the advocate of the helpless, forgotten, insane men and women of being sunk to the condition from which the unconcerned would start out with real horror. This quote was made by Dorothy Dix herself as a powerful statement against the horrors of which she saw. So today I come to present the strong claims of Dorothy Dix. I come place before you all, my wonderful audience, 
the work of which Dorothy has done to improve, lift, and empower our world. I come as the voice of the fallen advocate who made such a substantial change, and I come to you with one final question. Next time you hear the words mental illness, what will you think?